Hi, this is my first ever Technic mock, which looks like it should, works as it should, and doesn't fall apart every time I touch it. It's kind of an achievement for me, believe me. So basically, you could believe that it's loosely based on Motorcycle 8051, which is an official LEGO Technic set. But uh, apart from borrowing a number of elements like the exhaust pipes, the body elements here, the wheels and the springs, it is a very different motorbike. This is supposed to be a BMW. Motorbike 8051 uh, has a um, three-cylinder engine, the three cylinders being in line on the front of the bike. This one, like any BMW motorbike would, has a boxer engine, which I'm going to show you right there, dismounting the body. It's actually hidden behind these grills here. If you take out this, you can actually clip this off. And there you see the two cylinders on this side of the bike. You have the same on the other side of the bike. Now there is a second feature to this motorbike, and this was the main reason why I started to build it. I wanted to build a gearbox that works like the real thing. Of course, um, there are many limitations in LEGO, especially in this scale. So I only, have, I only built two gears plus neutral. That's the gearbox in there. And in order to save space, I actually cheated a lot because basically gear 1 is on this side of the engine and gear 2 is on that side of the engine. But basically it really works like the real thing. Look. Here we're in neutral, nothing happens in the engine, right? Now like on the real thing, you switch to gear 1 like that, and look. See the pistons there? And then, like on the real thing, you switch to second gear, and look at the pistons now. See? And then back to neutral. Kinda cool, isn't it? Okay, let me clip this back, because then I'm gonna show you the third and last feature which distinguishes this from motorcycle 8051 and that is another ultimate BMW feature which is on the other side and that is the shaft transmission as opposed to the regular chain transmission you would have on most motorbikes and on 8051. See this shaft here does the secondary transmission from the gearbox to the wheel. It's fully operational and follows the motion of the springs when you hit the road. So it's actually kind of cool, isn't it? Well, for a first mock, I'm rather pleased of this. Thanks for watching.